I'd like to welcome you to the Line Roots YouTube channel. Today we are going to be showing the three strand crown splice, which you have seen in the title of this video. So the rope is going to look something like this when you get it. It's going to have some tape on one end. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take our scissors and we are going to get rid of this tape. That way we can open this up and I'm going to start unraveling my strands. I'm gonna do it about five times. So I got two there. There's three, four, five. And then just follow along those lines there. Now we got all three strands separated. And after we get it unspun, it's gonna look something like this. We go ahead and we taped up the ends of our rope here. That way we it's easily to identify from when we are doing our crown splice, also known as the butt splice. Now that I have my three strand rope unraveled five times, I'm going to color code each ends of my rope with colored tape. This is only for identification purposes on making it easier for visual aid while you are splicing your three strand rope. I'm going to start with the red one in the middle. As you can see, this one is on top, right here. My red strand, I'm gonna bring it directly through the middle, and it's the one again sitting right on top. And then I'm gonna go over to my white strand. I'm gonna go underneath just like this. Then I'm gonna go around my white. And then back through my white strand on the back side with my blue rope. At this point, I'm going to dress each strand individually until it forms a nice crown on top of my three strand rope. Working it back and forth, nice and easy. You'll see a triangle start to form right here on top. If you see that, that's how you know that you formed a proper crown splice as you're in the process of dressing it. Just back and forth. Nice and easy. All right. So now I am ready to start splicing my three strand rope. This is what it's gonna look like at the end. It's dressed nice and neat, and there is not really any air gaps on the back side of the rope. We're going to clean up the tips of our rope which has the taped ends. That way it splices nice and neat. We're now ready to begin starting our butt splice. I'm gonna start with my red one. I'm gonna go up and over this strand right here and underneath this strand. It's gonna look something like this. I'm gonna rotate clockwise to the right. I'm gonna go with my blue. It's gonna go up and over this strand and underneath of this one, just like that. Now I'm gonna take my white. It's gonna go up and over this strand and underneath of this one. gonna look just like this. At this point, I'm going to dress my butt splice. That way it gets rid of any voids or air gaps in my butt splice. Now we're ready to start tucking our other strands. I'm gonna start with my red one. It's gonna go up and over this strand, underneath of this one. My blue, I'm gonna rotate clockwise again, up and over this strand, 
and underneath of this strand. My white is going to go up and over this strand, underneath this one, Now we're back to square one. Starting with my red up and over. My blue up and over this strand underneath of this one. My white again up and over this strand and underneath of this one. And right now, I currently have three tucks, which is the minimum of tucks, the minimum number of tucks when you are splicing any rope. I'm gonna start with my red one. I'm gonna go up and over this strand. Underneath this one, blue, up and over. My white, up and over this strand and underneath of this one. After I have finalized all of my tucks, I'm going to walk the crown splice back and forth in between my hands to set all of the individual strands properly, just like this. And that, my friends, is how to do a three-strand crown splice.